Hey everybody, this is Matt with iPad TV News, and today we're going to be talking to you about the Direct TV app for your iPad. This is a companion to your Direct TV service that you get through your satellite dish at home. Direct TV has really improved their app so it can compete with similar services such as the Dish Anywhere app. You used to have to be on your home wireless network, the same one as your cable box, in order to stream live from your iPad. Now you can stream live from anywhere you have a Wi-Fi connection. One of the drawbacks of the DirecTV app is unlike the Dish Anywhere app, not all of your satellite channels are available for live streaming, only ones that have legally given streaming rights to DirecTV. You'll notice on your home screen you have this live TV streaming box. If you click that little pencil in the upper right hand corner, you can edit the list of channels and choose favorites, move certain channels to the top if you watch those more, or you can delete channels from the list as well. If you click back to your home screen you'll notice on the right you also have a what's hot which is kind of the most popular things that are streaming right now and then on your left you can see whatever is currently streaming from your cable box. Now you're going to see popping on the left this is your main navigation screen. You can see it's broken down into movies, TV shows, sports, networks. We're going to go ahead and click sports because DirecTV has a lot of really cool ways to keep updated with sports that go beyond just uh, watching things. For instance, there's all kinds of scoreboards they offer. Uh, if you see right here, you click view scores. It gives you the results of all the games that are in action. You can see which games are on later. You can see, if you click at the top, you see completed games. So you can see who won or who lost those games. You can see upcoming games, what time they're on. If you click one of the upcoming games, a little pop-up will come up, and it will give you the option if you want to record it to your DVR. Now if you click in the upper left hand corner edit sports you can change your preferences as to what order you want them to be displayed in. You can take certain sports out if you want. Another really cool feature is you can edit your favorite teams so you follow all of their games. For instance I'm from Ohio if I click the Columbus Blue Jackets it's going to let me know every game they're playing and I, what time it's at I can click it and then I can record it whenever it's on. Now we're going to check out your programming guide which works just like your programming guide at home. You got all your channels here. On the left you'll see the hearts. If you want to favorite certain channels, that way you can filter it that way. At the top you get the times, channel numbers. You also got this handy scroll bar on the right if you want to, you know, you got a thousand channels or whatever, you can scroll through them real fast. And you just click whatever you want and you can choose to record it. One of the cool things is they have a lot of pay-per-views. So they have movies that are in the theater right now, which you can watch right on your TV. See Wolf of Wall Street. It does cost extra. You can also cycle through to see what's on the next couple days. One of the things that is lacking in the DirecTV app is not all of the content is available on demand because certain networks have other licensing agreements with Hulu, for instance. There is still a lot of content, though, and it's classified by TV show, movie, and network. So if you're looking for a specific show by title, you can look that way. If you're looking for movies, you can look that way. Or if you're looking for shows on a certain network, you can look that way as well. You'll notice on your navigation bar, you also have this playlist option, which is a really cool way to consolidate and keep track of all your content. You do have to set it up from your home DVR, and right now we're outside of the network, so we can't do that. But it doesn't take that much time, and what you can do is you can download shows straight to your iPad so you don't need to have a wireless connection. You can just take them with you on the go. So if you're on a train or an airplane and you don't have a wireless connection, you can still watch it on your iPad. You also have the option to stream it wirelessly without downloading it as well if you don't have the space or whatever. You can stream it direct from your DVR box. So that's the direct TV app for you. Not quite as comprehensive as the Dish Anywhere app, but still pretty cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Matt with iPad TV News.